Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a clothing haul and makeup. It might be a lengthy one, so get some tea, some snacks. It's going to be a long one. I'm going to start with Windsor because I thought Windsor was only a store online and if they had a store it would be in Los Angeles because they have everything there. Um, but I was on my way to Cape May and I think it was in Queens. One of these malls had a Windsor. So I went in there and got a few things. Um, I got this uh, outerwear jacket. This is pretty big, but you know what? I'm probably going to wear sweaters underneath. This is an extra large. I should have gotten a large. Um, so it's basically a leather jacket, pleather. It's a fake leather um, with like uh, mesh in between. So it's see through. And so that's how it looks. And then I got this really lovely blush tone. I'm, I don't know, my clothes. My taste in colors of clothes have changed. I'm into blush tones now, um, like mauve and blush. This is like a easily, I don't want to say it's bondage, bondage, it's not a bondage dress. That's a very form-fitting dress. Um, and it goes past the knees. It looks really elegant, so it really hugs the body, which is really nice. And it's just kind of like a tank dress is what you would call it, but it's better quality, I guess. Um, this was $29.90, and this is mauve. They labeled it as a mauve color. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, then I went to Victoria's Secret, and I needed one of these bras because I don't have it, like a deep plunge bra. So I got that. It is, let me see, like this. This is a very sexy multi-way, multi-options, 36 double D, it's Victoria's Secret. Um, and it's really nice because it supports well and it's, you know, really deep. And these are the straps. So I was supposed to go to somewhere and I got a nice pantsuit from J. Crew. Um, it was very, it's very fitting, very beautiful. The top and side is from H&M. So that's just like a nice toe, toe, a bow shirt for H&M. And it comes with the matching pants, which is this one. Basically the same as the blazer. I don't want to take it all out, but that's the pants. Um, I got it from a J. Crew outlet, which is pretty good because they have decent prices. And um, I think that the suit was, I want to say, almost 200 Almost. I could be wrong. These are saying 188 and the pants is, let me see, 108 So I want to say I got some sort of discount because I don't remember paying 300 for this suit. Um, yeah, um, and then I got this beautiful, it's so gorgeous because it's like, it's very elegant, like you could wear this to a cocktail dinner or a business um, meeting with a blazer, you could, it's very, very chic in my opinion, I really love it, I love the quality of it, the stitching, it just looks so beautiful. I got this, this is so heavy. Like, uh, House of CV stuff is really, really heavy. I remember Snapchatting this, trying on stuff in Fifth Avenue Topshop. Um, that's where I got my this dress from. Um, Topshop. So I got this beautiful House of CV dress. It is just everything. Like, the quality. This is, I'm thinking this is going to be my birthday dress in February. Um, this cost... The label says 185 but it came up to like 205 for tax. Um, absolutely love this. It's like a beautiful shade of red. Arms are big. It's just, it's tight. Like it sucks, it sucks everything in. Um, I just absolutely love it. I got it in a large. It's a beautiful dress. I got it in two colors. This is H&M. Now I'm going into my H&M stuff. Um, I got this beautiful dress, which basically... It's like a, how do you describe this? Kind of like a caged, it's caged in the top. The top is pretty caged. And um, 
it's very fitting. I got a 12, but I could have gotten a, an 11. Um, I didn't know it would be this fabric, very, you know, soft and um, kind of like it's forgiving in the sense that it's stretchy. I should have got a 10, but the 12 is okay. Um, it fits really nice, which I'm happy about. So it's basically a lace with a, a nude a nude on the inside so that's what gives it that illusion before I forget let me just show you I got a the Jaff the JAF travel bag it's the weekender the Jaff weekender bag from just fab which is absolutely awesome I could take everything with me it looks like this and I fit you know stuff that I want to travel with I've been doing a lot of traveling and um, it comes with a nice you know tag for your bag opens up like that so this bag is for life this is gonna be my carry-on bag when I travel um, to Houston in the next couple of weeks it's just I love it it has stuff inside so yeah it's a very handy bag a very very handy bag and I love that I'm getting a MacBook Pro 15 inch so I got me, you know, cases for them. So I got that, basically, you know, to cover the body of my, it's a hard shell. And um, I got that from Walmart. My ad is still in it, so I was gonna show you the Walmart tag. There we I go. Googled, you know, travel cases. So I got this beautiful color. It's from Runnet. Runnet. How do you spell that? I have no idea. That's the name. Oh, it's gray on the sides. And you know, I love gray. So I got gray and teal. It has like a, I didn't open it yet because I didn't want it to get dirty. It has like an opening sleeve right here. And you put there, you can put your stuff in there like a, a mouse, um, some little stuff you need for your laptop. So that's why I got this. So from h and I got this lovely shirt. Basically a golden mustard type of sweater. It's just a regular sweater. So I want to get like, you know, pants, suit pants. Um, so I went and got like two. I got this gray checkered one from h and and it is so form-fitting. Like, it's perfection. So it fits so nicely to my body. Um, I got this pattern. Just a good old pantsuit. That's the that's how they cut off at the bottom. I got this lovely sweater. It says Soho, New York. Um, I'm always in the city, so you know. I'm from Brooklyn, as you know, but this is so cute. I got this lovely pink blush sweater. It's so awesome because it looks all ordinary in the front, right? It's like just a simple sweater, right? And then on the back, it has like a silver zipper. So you can zip it down and wear it. You know? You know? It's so cool. I absolutely love that. It's so different. That's why I really like it. God, it's so wrinkled. Gosh. Jesus. Man. Okay. So this is like a... I love red. You all know this. This is like a cranberry color. I could definitely wear this for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this for Thanksgiving. It's a beautiful, you know, it's so wrinkly because I just had it in the box the whole time. But it's a, uh, what do you call it? Like a baby doll dress, it's long sleeve, and it just hits at the knees. It's a very flowy dress. It has nice button details on the back. It's so wrinkled. Uh, so that's how the shirt looks. It's showing up pretty different on camera. It looks bright orange, but I promise you it's a red and it's really long and it goes perfectly with a long cape blazer, cape coat. Then I got the other pants in black. The suit pants I showed earlier. This is just a black version. Um, this is a 10 and it's 
basically so darn elegant it has the cut out on the side and that's it and it goes all the way to the floor so it's very body hugging get a better view so it's just that pretty much this here is the black version of the other dress of the lace so it's just black on black black lace and then a black slip underneath Aged. And this is a robe, so I was like, I kind of need a robe to wear around, but the thing I don't like about certain robes is that they fall open in the middle, which is annoying, annoying, like, I don't like that, I've worn this and it doesn't, you know, hold, <laughs> it has a rope and everything, it has pockets, that's what drew me in because some robes don't have pockets, which is annoying, so that's the pocket right there belt it together but it's not doing much in my opinion second part of the haul uh, second time the Desi Birkins times key um, collaboration came out they came out with a blue shade and basically I went ham and got all three I got two from key.com and then I waited for it to come out in stores and launch with other you know retailers and I got the blue one from love culture for $59.95 um, but these retail for $60 a pair right $60 a pair uh, which is expensive never in my life ever in my life did I spend this much on a pair of sunglasses like I do not I do not do that but I just kind of got swept by how awesome they look the aviators are huge when I initially pulled them out but when I initially I've been wearing these ones like crazy so they're kind of you know dirty the black ones when I initially put them out I'm like wow these are small like I got these because they were humongous and I love big sunglasses but when I put them on, I was like, I could die happy. Like, I was just so fulfilled. Like, I wear this all the time, the black ones. I haven't worn any other, any of the other ones because I haven't hauled these yet. But these are just, come on, these are beautiful, right? Yeah, look at that highlight just gleaming from the side. Like, I'm definitely going to take all three of them when I go on my trip next summer um and also when i'm going to dubai in a few weeks so i definitely needed all of these three pairs of course uh, but the black ones are just so beautiful they say key up here and um, they're just beautiful like oh my goodness and they come in this little um sleeve which says key times desi these are the blue ones like, let me wear them. I haven't worn these. I don't want to get makeup on them. That's what's crazy. Oh, honey. And now for the gold ones. Um, they're basically gold bands. I think the frame is gold and the body, the actual lens is rose gold. It's from different pictures I've seen. But um, they came packaged like this from Key, Australia.com. Um, a little you know sleeve and a note in it let me just show you this hat this was inside of it it basically shows you the do's and don'ts to, to do with the sunglasses which is kind of cute um they came really well packaged okay and then these are the glasses and then the sleeve um so let's take these off let's see how these babies look first impression so much so ooh, baby this is this is definitely pink rose gold frames <laughs> these are nice oh, imagine all the photos I could take with this Look at that highlight. Just just breathe in the highlight with the sunglasses. This is like Instagram goodness right now. Like, I love it. I love it. Look, it's just rose and then it just gives you uh, beautiful. Yeah, that's that one. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my heart. I can't take it. So I can see that my background, my camera's a little slanted, don't mind that because if I start jacking with the camera, 
my lens is going to go out of focus and I don't want to deal with all that and my battery is going so don't mind that the camera looks like this <laughs> it totally does though it's really distracting don't mind it sorry about that now into the makeup basically MAC Cosmetics has changed their rules on who can receive a MAC card and that's pretty much catering to industry makeup artist people people basically celebrity artists people who have their license in makeup um, or degree diploma whatever it is and they kind of just kick freelance self-taught people to the side pretty much if you don't have a tear sheet of you know doing work in the magazines or something like that basically if you're not a big time makeup artist you can't get a Mac discount anymore which kind of sucks you know because not all of us live in Los Angeles and get work you know as you know celebrity makeup artists or doing runways and stuff like that me I don't do uh, freelance makeup artistry as much as I used to but it really did help honestly and I think they should change that back because there are freelance makeup artists who work in Idaho in their hometown and you know do freelance makeup artists on like uh, high school girls and you know do local weddings and stuff like that so um, that kind of sucks I really think Mac should change that honestly in my opinion so basically as I knew my Mac card wasn't gonna work anymore I kind of stocked up big time because I did get a 40% off and that was pretty awesome so um, before I go into MAC, I'm just going to show you this little thing that I got from Nordstrom Rack. If you want to do high-end, mid-range makeup shopping, go to Nordstrom Rack. They discount makeup like crazy. This is retails for $21. Um, that's what it's saying on the packaging. I think it's $21. This is a melted Too Faced liquefied longwear lipstick. And I got it in the shade Melted Frosting. I think that was the only one they had in the store. And it looks like they is. I don't think you can see this far, but it comes out like that. That's the color. $8.97 for a Too Faced product. Now into my MAC stuff. I got a lot of shit. Basically, retail price is, equates to like about $500 worth of makeup, um, but with the discount, it was like $260. So that's a huge... You understand what a difference that is if you had a Mac Pro card. Um, but um, I got a few things. I got Ruby Woo lipstick cork lip liner for my sister's for my sister because I was running out. I was like, I might as well just get something for her since I won't have it anymore. So I got a cork lip liner, Ruby Woo lipstick, NC50 foundation. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's those are things I won't be in a haul because I already gave it to her. This is deepest dark mineralized um, skin finish I wanted something with a powder consistency not a powder foundation um, something that's not a contour product um, to you know bronze with or contour with so this is the color I did get contour my face with this is a face powder but I wanted to use it as contour. This is deep is dark. My usual color is dark deep, so I'm just pulling that out right now to compare. So this is dark deep. This is dark deepest. And then I got an NW45 Studio Fix Powder um, because, duh, I use this every day of my life. Like, how can I live? I'm gonna I still have a Bobbi Brown discount, so I think I'm just, even though I used to love 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 matte cosmetics i'm gonna have to switch my whole life to bobby brown because i get a discount you know and that's that's saving money so nc45 concealer is what i got um because i always i love their pro long wear products i have like at least seven shades no i got like five shades i'm not gonna lie i got a bunch so i got this in nc45 okay much better so this is nc 42, 45, sorry, NC45 X Plus, back up, then I got um, the Full Coverage Foundation, I definitely want to do a video on this because I love full coverage, and this is basically a cream kind of color, this is NW45 Full Coverage Foundation by MAC, um, that's how it looks, 
So I can't wait to try that. that. And C45 again. So I got two of these. Pro Longwear for, um, Concealer. So this is a uh, Studio Fix Fluid NC50 Foundation. Um, for some reason, when I went to MAC, I was barefaced. The guy came up to me and said, wow, you have a lot of golden tones. You sure you're not NC50? So I'm going to try this because I don't have a backup of NW45. So that's why I do have that. And then I have how many NC45 concealers do you have, bro? I've got another one. I got another con um, Pro Longer Concealer in NC45 quad for some shadows. I was like, this is the last time I'm going to be buying shadows from MAC. What shadows do you want to use? So, I got a palette of four shadows. A blush. This blush is Azalea to add into my palette. Then I got a blush Apple Red. Then I got a backup of Cherry Lip Liner because I absolutely love this shade. It's a beautiful red. Red is my all-time favorite red. Even beyond a lipstick or anything like that, I just love Cherry Lip Liner. It's just, it's beautiful. I got another Prepper Prime Fix Plus. Then I got my favorite foundation, but the sad thing is, is that this foundation I can only use in the summertime because when I wear it now in the winter, it's really, really dark. So I got 8.5. I got three 8.5 um, Mash Master foundations. We have another Studio Fix Powder Plus foundation and W45. So that is Smut Bottled Green. It got scratched, but that is Ho. Tempting. So that's some new colors to play with. So now for Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Whoa, it's a lot of stuff. Okay. I attacked like a lion as soon as it said all my favorite scents for $3.75 and $6. I was like, through the whole, you know, semi annual sale, I am ready to. To buy all my stuff now so that's what it pretty much did before i get into that i have some stuff in here i got backup batter batteries for my sony a5 a5 100 camera um i got a portable charger these are from ebay right or amazon no it's ebay so i got two backup batteries i needed that for travel and a wall charger I got into the trend, I saw this, and I was like, let me get these, because, you know, this is totally the 90s, but everyone is back into this trend, so I was like, let me get these, I don't know, I should give it to my niece, honestly, Golden Pure Brown Sugar, I got two, actually, so, two of these, I really ran out of my body washes, so I got a crap ton, I got four of the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte body washes, so, that's the marshmallow pumpkin latte. Four of their body creams. Four of the body creams. One of their lotions because I was like, why not? I could toss it in my bag. And then I got a scent that I never heard of. This is champagne, apple, and honey. So I was like, honey, it must smell really cool. So I got it. It says it had the keynotes of pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, jasmine honey, boysen berry, nectar, and autumn woods. That's pretty good. Our golden pear and brown sugar. The keynotes are barlet pear, brown sugar, almond cream, vanilla praline, and toasted hazelnut. The keynotes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, white ginger, praline musk, which is my favorite scent of all time, as you could probably tell by the amount of backups I got. I got two candles. As soon as I can pull it out, there we go. I got the pumpkin cupcake candle which is absolutely delicious it says it's what whip whipped buttercream pumpkin spice vanilla cupcake it smells like a bakery it's so beautiful um then we have chocolate pistachio which i totally got off a of whim because it was green and i was like hmm, i wonder what chocolate pistachio smell like and then my sister smelled this she died and she had to get like a few it's absolutely beautiful it's it's it smells amazing. The keynotes, well, the fragrance notes are pistachio, chocolate truffle, white powdered sugar. Yep. 
So that is divine. It's like, it's in a family of vanilla goodness and it smells like pistachios too. So it's good. It's good. So that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in another video. Bye. <laughs> and I'll see you in another video. <laughs> Alright, bye you guys.